target is Angola's Mfinda oil field, upstream from the landing point. A spill has covered the whole area in crude. A pipeline that crosses the Muneni River failed, and now the shore's a mess. Not to mention the villages downstream have no drinking water. The oil runs to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this time is an environmental NGO. Destroy the facility. Stop that leak. This may seem like straight-up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. The Mafinda oil field was outdated. Abandoned. Then the rebel group Unita moved in, taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. United's been rapidly modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them U.S. military hardware. Intel's analysis suggests the broker's a front company, Cyphers. Keeping tabs on United can tell us who's pulling its strings. Alright my friends, welcome back to my walkthrough for Metal Gear Solid 5. This is the first mission that we have on African soil, it's called Pitch Dark and in this mission there are quite a lot of objectives, it's not necessarily an easy mission and it seems that a lot of people are struggling with completing all of the objectives in one try but it is possible to do it and I'm going to show you how and why is Snake struggling so much to move over a rock? It's always kind of annoying how even if it's just a little rock he can't climb it you need to press triangle otherwise he just slides down. So our first objective is to extract the four children soldiers or child soldiers and we need to do it without hurting them their location depends on the time of the day where you do this. If it's night time, they'll be sleeping inside a house, that blue house right there. If it's in the morning time, then they'll be receiving a lecture from another soldier. And as soon as they detect that something's wrong, they'll start running away. So what I'm going to do is put them all to sleep. There's a soldier there, I'm going to take him out first. I actually want him to come and inspect this area so that then I can go around the house and catch him by surprise. I'm going to choke him out. Now, extracting the, the child soldiers, it would be a lot easier if I had the full ton full, fully upgraded if I had the wormhole full ton you can use the full ton to extract them but otherwise you won't be able to do it because full ton extraction is considered too dangerous for the children so you need to find another way to extract them but there's a method that you can use and I think it really works pretty well but first let's worry about putting them to sleep I'm going to probably put that guy to sleep as well, since I don't want to wait. Because this mission is going to be a little bit long. And we got a, an interesting elite soldier there, I'm going to extract that guy for sure. We are going to take a nap, there we go. This method that I'm going to use does involve using a few resources, so this mission isn't the best one to get lots of money. But nonetheless, it works pretty well. So as soon as you put the first one to sleep, the other children will start running away. Just hit them, and sooner or later they will fall asleep. Oh, and that guy is going to wake up the child. I don't want that. Let's put that guy to sleep as well, and the child is going back to sleep again. Come on, I'm pretty sure I got him in the head there, I don't know why he's still awake. Fall asleep, little boy, come on, there we go. 
Okay, now we're going to extract that guy with pretty awesome stats. Where's the guy? That guy's going to sleep as well. I'm actually going to use my sniper rifle here. There we go. He's coming too. And Watch you're that. coming as well. Now there are three more soldiers. As we go up the hill, we're going to put them to sleep. Depending on their position, I can get that guy off guard, so I'm going to choke him out. Oh, another good soldier. Yeah, you can come. Now for this mission I am using my dog, Tuki, but I do admit that this mission, not at this segment, but later on, if you have a good relationship with Quiet, she can be useful in this mission. Or just speed things up a little bit. Personally, I think it just makes this level boring, because I like to do things on my own, but... Nonetheless, let's extract this guy since he also has good stats. And now what we're going to do, as you can see, there's this conveniently placed jeep here. And I think that the developers placed it here because they knew that if you didn't have a fully upgraded Fulton, then this jeep would really come in handy. So we're going to drive down. And what we're going to do, we can place up to three passengers on the jeep. So we're going to put three of the child soldiers on the jeep. And then we're just going to extract the jeep. Like I said, if I had the wormhole fulton, I wouldn't need to do this. You can extract the children using the wormhole fulton. But aside from that, you can't do it because it's too dangerous for them. So we're just going to put them on the jeep and then we'll just extract the jeep. And that avoids us having to call the helicopter and have to keep picking up the children one by one, put them on the helicopter and extract them that way. Instead, we're just going to to use the jeep. Now, obviously, there's still one child soldier left, but what we're going to do here is call the horse. See? We extract the jeep. Now we need to extract this little dude as well. But like I said, I'm just going to call the horse. And I'm going to take this child with me and I'll use the helicopter. I'll call the helicopter and extract him that way. You know, another method that I, I was actually thinking about right now. But I'll have to try it later. Maybe if I left the child on the horse's back and I switched the horse with my dog then maybe the child would be taken out of the battlefield alongside the horse but I'm not sure about that so I'm not even going to bother trying it instead I'll just call the helicopter because we need to head into this direction anyway so it's not like we're wasting any time here but yeah as you can see you don't need an upgraded full pump to extract all of the child soldiers and this method works pretty well. I do think that they placed the, the jeep on that location on purpose because otherwise it would be a pain to get them all out. However, you can also start the mission with your own vehicle and then use that vehicle to extract the children. That would also work.
Okay, so the last child is taken care of. He's going to join his friends and hopefully have a normal life from now on. It's going to be hard though. The crazy thing is that this actually happened and still happens in real life. And that's really, really... That's really sad, really, when you think about it. I like that the game touched on this subject. But now we need to capture this outpost and the reason why we are going to do this is due to the fact that later on after you destroy that oiled field the, the, oil, the oil camp is going to be surrounded by enemy soldiers and there will be four soldiers on walkers and once they surround the base if you don't get out of the hot zone before they surround the base, then you'll miss one of the key objectives for this mission. However, if you conquer this outpost now, there will only be two soldiers with walkers. And you'll find that there will be two walkers empty on this base later on after you cause that mass destruction. So all that we need to do is take out the soldiers in the two walkers that still come and inspect the oil field and if we manage to take them out before they get too close to the oil field then the objective will be marked and you'll be able to complete this mission with all of the optional objectives. So that's why it's very important for you to capture this outpost extract the soldiers because I'm convinced that you either need to kill them or extract them in order for them not to appear later on with the extra two walkers. So if you do this then you'll have a, a much easier time and that's why I said that maybe quiet would be useful for this mission if you have a good relationship with her at this point otherwise don't bother using her because she can capture the outpost for you and you'll save a little bit of time by doing it. But then that also makes the mission pretty simple and you won't get the satisfaction of conquering the outpost on your own. So I think that this method works better honestly, plus if you're playing a normal walkthrough of the game, chances are you still don't even have quiet in your party, so it's not like you can use her here anyway. I mean, you can later on, obviously, but this method works pretty well. So now we're going to complete another optional objective, and we have to capture a vulture. That's right. We have to put it to sleep or stun the vulture, who's flying around the burned out village here. And what we need to do is extract the vulture, and after we do that, it's another mission objective complete. Now it seems to me that the vulture unfortunately isn't flying in the air, he'll be around here flying in the air normally but he also likes to land sometimes but I'm actually going to just call my dog so that he can sniff the vulture out because otherwise I'll have to go around trying to find him. Since it's night time I'm not surprised that the vulture won't be flying. If it's daytime then you'll probably, if you look up, you'll see the vulture flying around and you won't need your dog to, to spot him, but I can't find him right now and that's a very gruesome image. Buddy has arrived. Probably the has been updated. You know, I had to learn about Unita at school, so... or Unita. <laughs> In Portuguese it's Unita, but Unite and they actually did this, so yeah. This level, even though it's fiction, it touches on a very few dark events in Africa's history and, well, it's... I think it's a good thing that they touched on these subjects. I don't think most people playing the game even bother to think about them, but nonetheless, 
They did a good job here. So, as you can see, I have a sniper rifle with a silencer. Uh, in order to unlock this sniper rifle, you need to have your research and development team at level 36. And you also need the Digitalia plant. Analysis complete. And if you have a good quantity of Digitalias and your research and development team at, is at level 36, you'll be able to get this sniper rifle. I think this sniper rifle really comes in handy if you want to speed things up while you're uh, invading the oil field because otherwise there's just a lot of soldiers and it can be troublesome to, to stun them all or find other ways to take them out. So I just think this speeds up the process a little bit. And this is a long mission. It obviously took longer because I had to extract the child soldiers the good old fashioned way. But you still have plenty of time to complete this mission and still get an S rank so you don't really need to worry. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all of the soldiers guarding the area where we need to place some explosives. I'm going to take them all out using my tranquilizer guns. I actually want them to see them because I want those two guys to move forward so that they come and inspect this area and then it will be easier for me to take them out. And I'll probably have to do a, a resupply drop or maybe I don't, I'll probably do it. Yes, it will cost a little bit of GMP, but it doesn't matter. I have plenty. So yeah, let's put those two to sleep. There you go. That's the first two, and those two a little bit further ahead. They'll come and inspect this area as well. Please select a drop point. Yeah, I'll just get a supply drop here just to be on the safe side and that guy needs to go to sleep as well come on there we go and now that last guy he has an helmet on so I need to get a little bit closer so that I can get a good angle on the guy yep gotta use my sniper rifle there we go right in the mouth I wonder if he's going to be feeling numb like he just went to the dentist after he, w he wakes up you know you know how when you go to the dentist and they put uh, anesthesia in your mouth and then you can feel your jaw pretty sure that's how that guy, how, how that guy is going to be feeling after we, he wakes up Let's put those two guys to sleep because they're going to be standing in our way once we move up. We have to go up there and press a button. That's another objective. But yeah, now that everyone's taking a little nap, we're good to go. So let's play some C4 here. Alternatively, guys, you can also shoot this structure from far away using a rocket launcher. And... That also works, but regardless you'll always have to come inside the base so that you press the button, so... There might be a couple more soldiers standing in our way, depending on their moving pattern, and yes, that guy's coming in my direction, so I am going to take him out, but this guy I'm going to choke out, because I want to save a little bit of ammunition just in case things go wrong and I have to improvise should have told Tuki to wait it's still awesome that he pinpoints the location of pretty much every single enemy yeah. I'm going to leave this guy taking a little nap here and now we can move up and press the button Be prepared for another grim scene.
Yeah, that's messed up. You'd think that we're dealing with the Umbrella Corporation at this point, really. <laughs> that's a scene that I'd expect to see in a Resident Evil game. But yeah. Ignore that guy. We're going to be out of here before he can do anything. I swear, whenever you're trying to make a run for it, there's always a soldier standing in your way. And it's actually kind of annoying. But I need to get those supplies that I requested anyway. There's a guy on that watchtower there. I'm going to put him to sleep. There we go. Because otherwise he might manage to spot me. Since he has the searchlight. And apparently someone found one of the knocked out soldiers. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm not going to take any chances. You're going to sleep and you're going to sleep as well. There we go. It's always annoying how they're standing in your way when you're about to leave. So, rather not take any chances and just take them out. Oh, and by the way, if Snake falls in the middle of the oil, it's an automatic game over. As you can see from the bodies floating around, it's not a very good idea to, to fall inside. So we've completed the two big objectives, the ones that you always need to complete in order to complete this mission. But now we need to detonate the C4 so that we can blow up the structure. But we're going to move away. And we're going to prepare a little trap for the two soldiers riding the walkers. So what we're going to do is throw a few decoys on the road. I'm going to throw more than one just to be on the safe side. It's not crucial. You only need the one. But, like I said, I'd rather be on the safe side and to make sure that the soldiers don't get too close to the oil field so that I can complete all of the objectives here and prevent the soldiers from locking down the oil field. Yeah, you guys are going to sleep because I really don't want to get attacked at this point. And I'll extract you so you can join my little animal shelter at mother base speaking of which i'm kind of disappointed with the fact that you know i've developed my mother base quite a lot but you really can't do a, a whole lot there i wish you could go inside buildings and do something else but so far i can't that's a little bit disappointing okay so since we took out the soldiers we won't get the cutscene here with the soldiers looking back because, well, we took them out. However, like I said, guys, there's going to be two walkers and about six soldiers behind the walkers who will come and try to lock down the base still. But you won't have to worry about the two extra walkers and that's why this mission becomes a lot easier. So we're going to stay here. I'm going to throw another decoy because this is a pretty good area to shoot them. Like I said, I only place the other decoys to make sure that they don't get too close to the oil field. I'm being extra cautious, but one, one decoy is enough. So let's get the sniper rifle ready here. The reason why I put the decoys on the road is so that the walkers stop moving because they're moving very fast and sometimes it might actually be hard to shoot them while they're at, at the speed that they're moving. So by placing the decoy on the road, you make sure that they stop walking and then it becomes a lot easier to shoot them. So they're taken care of. And now let's put these guys to sleep as well. One, two, and fall asleep. Three and four. There we go. And what's that guy doing? How did that guy wake up? Or is it a different guy? I don't know where that guy came from. Oh, it's the guy on the walker. I'm surprised. I, didn't I shoot that guy? 
I guess I did them. Oh well. We're going to extract him. Could have sworn I shoot you, dude. Maybe you are immune to to tranquilizers, I don't know. But we're going to extract the two walkers and at this point, guys, you really have nothing to worry about. We're just going to call the helicopter and get out of here. And that will complete the, the last mission objective, which is get out of the hot zone before the base is locked down. Admittedly, that's kind of... Uh, it's not a very well explained objective because you'd think that you can't you couldn't complete that objective and at the same time ex uh, complete another optional objective with it, which is extract the four walkers that surround uh, the oil field but you can because since we conquered the outpost earlier on there's going to be two empty walkers standing right here so we're going to extract those two as well because they count for the objective and that's really all there is to it you know uh, aside from that this mission isn't too bad but that's how you can complete all of the mission objectives in one session again you don't need to do this you can always complete a few objectives first and then come back to the mission and complete the other ones and it will still work but if you want to get them all in one session then this is the way to do it you need to capture this outpost before you head towards the oil field and if you do that then you're golden and you won't have any problems completing this mission so let's get out of here Tuki but this mission is it's probably going to be like 30 minutes yeah it's probably going to be around 30 minutes plus there's going to be a cutscene so that's going to take a little bit longer, but we're going to get out of here. Another mission completed. Our very first mission in Africa. I know so many people living in Angola. A lot of Portuguese people migrate there. But, as you can see, all mission objectives completed and the last objective will be unlocked once the mission is over. So let's see how we did. Alright, awesome. So, we didn't kill anyone, obviously, perfect stealth, no kills. And as you can see, the objectives right there. By using this method, we guarantee that the base isn't locked down and that we can still extract the four walkers without having any worries. We lost a little bit of money, but unfortunately that's because we didn't have the wormhole full ton, which would have made this mission a lot easier. So thank you so much for watching, my friends, and I'll see you all later for the next part. Take care. Boss, we took another look into Sainer, the owner of the oil field. They were behind what happened. They hired the PF, not United. They restarted the facility all the while pretending they were the victims. One other thing. Sainer's Johannesburg head office is just a room in a multi-tenant building. Company's essentially non-existent. Three years ago, that investment fund stepped in and started gutting it through a series of mergers and sell-offs. And get this, the fund itself no longer exists either. It's a shell corporation, meaning someone is just using Sainer's name from the shadows. But what about those strange corpses? Just what the hell were they doing over there?